as we drive the unit of energy which is kilowatt hour. First of all, I will write down the definition of energy. Look at the board, the definition of energy is written. Energy is the capacity to do what? If you have capacity to perform any task, if you have ability to perform any task, if you have the strength to perform any task, it means you have energy to perform that work, to perform that task. So energy is the capacity to do any work. SI, standard unit of energy is juice. But we can make another unit of energy with the help of the formula. What is the formula of energy? We can drive the formula of energy from the formula of power. Formula of power is written here. Power is equal to energy upon time. Power is equal to energy upon time. So if I will move time towards the left side of the equal to sign then it will be multiplied by power. So the form of energy will become energy is equal to power multiplied by time. You know the standard unit of energy is joules. The standard unit of power is watts. The standard unit of time is seconds. So one joule is equal to one watt second. One joule is equal to one watt second. We also know that one minute is equal to sixty seconds. One hour is equal to sixty minutes. So one hour will be equal to how many seconds? Sixty multiplied by sixty. Sixty multiplied by sixty will become thirty six hundred. So one hour is equal to thirty six hundred seconds. Now I will shift 3600 towards the left side of this equal to sign so hour will be divided by 3600 3600 is now in the denominator so hour divided by 3600 is equal to 1 second or you can say 1 second is equal to hour divided by 3600 this is the rule of the mathematics if something is multiplied by second then you will shift it towards the left side of the equal to sign then it will be in the denominator 3600 is multiplied by second here so i will shift it towards the left side of the equal to sign so it will be in the denominator hour is in numerator and 3600 is in denominator hour is divided by 3600 so one second is equal to hour upon 3600 so here in this formula i will put hour upon 3600 in place of second you can see i have put hour upon 3600 in place of second here in this formula so one joule is equal to what hour upon 3600 one joule is equal to what hour upon 3600. You can see 1 joule is equal to watt hour upon 3600. I will move this 3600 towards the left side of this equal to sign. So it will be multiplied by joules. So 3600 joules is equal to watt hour. 3600 joules is equal to watt hour. Now, this is the rule of the mathematics. If you have to multiply something, you have to multiply on both sides of equal to sign. Here I will multiply 3600 with 10 raised to the power 3. So I will also multiply 30, 10 raised to the power 3 with what hour? I have multiplied 
10 raised to the power 3 on both sides. You know, 10 raised to the power 3 has a prefix which is called kilo. 10 raised to the power 3 has a prefix which is called kilo. So I will write kilo here. Kilo watt hour. You can write HR for hour or simply H for hour. It's in. 10 raised to the power 3 is a multiplier which has its prefix and it is called kilo. So I have write, I have written kilo in place of 10 to the power 3. Now here I will expand this power. 10 to the power 3 will be expanded like this. Thousand. 10 to the power 3 means thousand. I will expand this power 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3 means thousand. So 3600 multiplied by 1000, it will become 3600000 joules equal to kilo watt hour. Now look, the decimal point is there. If I will move this decimal point six digits towards the left one two three four five six it will raise to the power six decimal point is there and i have moved this decimal point six digits towards the left one two three four five six so it becomes 3.6 into 10 raised to the power 6. And it is 1 kWh. kWh means kilowatt hour. So 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to the power 6 joules. This is the final answer. So the lecture ends here. Thank you.